We'll tell you more about Google next time on Wired. In the meantime, here's how a local company is using open source to define technology. Sanjeeva is a happy man. Having worked several years at IBM, he now runs his own technology company, WSO2. Employing some of the brightest sparks in the industry, his team of developers is on the verge of defining technology that can change the web as we know it. So, it's, uh, WSO2 started basically with an idea that I had while I, was, I used to work for IBM until recently about taking web services, which is this new technology platform that's coming up, and really building a complete uh, industry-wide uh, usable technology platform. So currently the web services platform, as it's being defined, is being implemented by companies like IBM and Microsoft and so forth, but they're implementing it as a second-class platform. Businesses will be able to integrate and communicate with each other much more easily. In other words, they are building middleware that encompasses everything from basic communication to security to reliable transactions. So how is this all being done? And we're going to build it in open source and so we'll build everything uh, and give, give everything away free. And then after giving it away free, what we intend to do is basically make money using support as a business model. Unlike other technologies, because it's on the internet and is free, there is no limit to what can be done. Open source is the best platform for innovation. I would be afraid what would happen if everything was a proprietary project where the winner basically just stops innovating because there's no reason to. They already have all the customers. There's no motivation for improvement there. And I think that's what the open source world gives. With thousands from the open source developer community worldwide as backup, local companies like WSO2 can really get ahead. We are a technology company. But what we are showing is that we can do technology from Sri Lanka. There's absolutely nothing that stops a company from Sri Lanka taking on the best of the world and, and competing. And open source is a, is a very powerful vehicle for doing that because what it allows you to do is we don't have to have the marketing cost that a, a normal technology company does. We would still be a small two-person company in Sweden and Finland. So we wouldn't exist without open source. That's just... We would have made a very good product used by 10 people or so, maybe 20. Uh, open source model made us reach millions instead with the same good product.